Well, the numbers are getting thin, so they should be thinner what they are what they are now. Uh, so um, I, I had envisioned this. I envisioned two more teams going to nominate it, and then round one would end tomorrow. That's not going to be the case. So Montreal still alive, but it wasn't easy. It, it started out to be easy. Montreal had a three nothing lead, and I went, "Oh boy, this doesn't look good." But then Toronto started to come back. They scored one in the second, and then Jake Muzzin put in two in the third, and uh, overtime came. And I was getting ready to freak in this overtime. Unfortunately, as Toronto had the puck, um, uh, um, Galchenyuk messed messed up, turned it over to Caulfield, and he and Suzuki broke away. After two passes to each other, Suzuki puts it in 59 seconds into overtime, and... That's that. Le Habitan still lives. It's a 3-2 series for Toronto. And uh, the seed shifts back to Montreal in front of 2,500 fans. It will be the first Canadian game with people in attendance. Now, while while Montreal stayed alive, the National Predators did not. This was another close game between the two teams. And Nashville was kind of leading for a bit, for, for pretty much most of it. But, uh, they tied, but um, Hamilton tied it up. Dougie Hamilton did. And the game went to overtime. Fourth straight game in this series to go to overtime. And, um, of course, um, when um, that wasn't a long one either. But this was a bit longer. It actually lasted past the first minute, but not that much. A minute and six seconds into the overtime, Sebastian Ajo tips in Jacob Swayman's shot. And that's it. Carolina advances. Carolina will face Tampa Bay, the Tampa Bay Lightning, in the Central Division's final round, the Central Division final. So, to recap, the East final is long set. The Central Division final is set. The West final will be set tomorrow. And North, well, that's up to Toronto. And speaking of the Division finals, round two, uh, NHL, the NHL announced earlier today that the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs will start Saturday. So, here's so here's the schedule. Here's here's what we look forward to. Now that I've recapped the two games that we we'll played, great games, close games, some of time, not that long, but nice drama. But here, but here's what we look forward to. Tomorrow, Game Seven, we will finally have an opponent because we've been waiting. We've been waiting. We've been enjoying the we've been enjoying the long layoff, but now we need to get back to business. Uh, we will finally have an opponent. Tomorrow is Game Seven. Wild Golden Knights in Vegas. Winner plays the Abs. Uh, Saturday, Game Six. Uh, Maple Leafs and Canadians back in Montreal. That's at 7:30 Eastern, 4:30 Pacific. Uh, the Game Seven is 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow night. Um, like I said, it was announced like about a week or so ago that the, the province of Quebec would was, was start opening up, opening up tomorrow, which which left the door open for a game six with fans in attendance. But uh, they had to they had to force it. It didn't look good with uh, Montreal down three games to one. But now that the Habs won game five, they get to play that game six with 2,500 people in attendance. As like I said, it will be the first Canadian game this year with fans in attendance because all, because the Canadian division has played all of their games with no fans. And of course, at 8 Eastern, at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, it's the beginning of, of round one. Game one, Bruins, Islanders. That's game one. Of course, uh, the, the Bruins ousted Washington uh, days ago, Sunday. They haven't played since Sunday. Uh, so this will be their first game since Sunday. Uh, and the Islanders just eliminated the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we have the Bruins and Islanders facing each other for the first time in, I think it's, I think since 84. I think I have that right. I think, I think it's since, uh, let me see. I'm searching. I'm searching it right now. It's, it's convenient to be sitting in front of a, a laptop, but I think I read '84. Uh, let's see. No, it's '83. '83 was the last time. '83 yeah, was the last time. Bruins and Islanders, the, the then named Prince of Wales final. 
The Islanders won that en route to their fourth straight Stanley Cup. Um, so yeah, so it's Game One Islanders and yeah, it's Game One Islanders and Bruins Sunday. Sunday, it's Game One Avs versus tomorrow's winner. That's gonna be in Denver, regardless, because again, President's Trophy home home ice throughout. But to, but Sunday is Game One of the West Division Final: Avalanche versus either Minnesota or Vegas. Uh, that that was part of the announcement, and of course Monday. Monday, if Montreal wins, if Montreal wins Saturday, Monday is Game Seven of that series in Toronto. Now I think now they haven't officially announced this, but I think if. If Toronto takes care of it Saturday, because, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. No, wait, no, wait, no, no. This is, no, I'm sorry. I thought I saw a link to a uh, possible start for the Central Series. No. Um, this is this this link was telling me stuff I already know. It's a start time for Saturday's games. I already know this. But, um, so, so, I apologize for that. But, again, back to the North, the North uh, Division Series. Um. I think that they haven't officially announced this, but I think if uh, Toronto finishes it off on Sunday, because a game is scheduled in Toronto on Monday anyway, so I think if the Leafs uh, take care of the Canadians on sun Saturday, then I would think that Game One of the North uh, Division Final between the Leafs and the Jets would take place that Monday. I would think that would be the case. I would think that would be the case if Toronto takes care of it Sunday, uh, Saturday. I mean. So yeah, so to recap, so to recap, what to look forward to? Game seven, Minnesota Vegas tomorrow. Game six, Toronto Montreal Saturday. Game one, second round, Boston Islanders. Also, also uh, Saturday. Uh, Sunday, game one, Colorado versus Minnesota or Vegas. Uh, I think that's a 8 p.m. Eastern start time. And Monday, game seven, if needed, Montreal Toronto. Or possibly game one, Winnipeg, Toronto. So there you go. So that's my that's my recap of tonight's action, and I'll be back to uh, recap tomorrow's game seven and get my fellow Avs fans revved up for our series against whoever wins it. So stay tuned.